up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here, doing another NECA Pacific Rim movie action figure review on the Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy Danger Jaeger figure. If you're trying to get your Pacific Rim figures, you can get big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Gotta thank NECA Toys for making this review possible. Check out their Facebook page, see the latest coming from NECA Toys, and this looks sick. Okay, this is the third figure that we've gotten from NECA uh, of, of a Gypsy Danger in the 7 inch scale over here. This is the sticker says right over there. It says, super articulated, all new figure. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, we get a ship right over there, which I thought was badass. And then we get the sword. You can see the swords included in some interchangeable hands as well. And on the back, you can see him holding the ship. Then you get Tacit Ronin, Anchorage Attack, Gypsy Danger, Romeo Blue. And on the other side, just clear plastic. Oh, and you can see at the top over here that he has 10 kills under his belt. Yeah, killing 10 kaiju. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this figure open. Then here's the Gypsy Danger out of the packaging looking sick. I really like this blue paint over here. Oh man, this is really great. And there's a lot of nice details details on this. really dig this a lot. He comes with a lot of accessories. Now for me, of course, the ship is the coolest accessory that comes with this figure. And you can tell that these hands are actually supposed to be gripping the ship like this. There are these designated holes on the ship that fit for each of these hands. So it's kind of like NECA's designating how Gypsy is supposed to hold the ship over here. But you can see how that thumb goes right into that groove. I'll just move that out so you can see there's a groove for that. Groove right there for all the fingers. And then groove right here for the other fingers and the thumb area so you can see how it's sculpted. Now looking at the details on this a little closer, I think this is really, really well done. I like the color variation up top over here. I really dig this silver paint, by the way. I think these are life vests? Those are huge life vests, man. And then we get this, uh, I don't know, shuffleboard? Uh, <laughs> I don't really know too much about ships or whatever and boats and whatnot. I'm really liking the wash right over here. Glossy black paint looks really nice. I really like how the rail looks, too. The rudder and propellers and all that stuff looking really really nice and here's the sword properly sculpted I really like that they've done this brand new sword over here uh, compared to the other one didn't totally close up right here on the edges that was a bit of an inaccuracy but they've redeemed themselves with this brand new one I really like the paint as well now when you're attaching the sword to his arm you can see right there in the slot where the sword goes there's a little notch sticking up through the middle of that you want to look for the little groove right here on this plastic piece at the end of the sword so it matches up correctly and just put that right through there and it holds very very nicely yeah that is looking really really cool and you don't get two of these you only get one of them which is fine with me because you only see him with one during the movie anyway and the sword does fit nicely into the right hand as well and you can fit the original sword right in here too if you'd like to do that so that does work if you want to do some stop go animation or something I'm stoked to see two sets of hands over here with this figure this is great we get interchangeable hands we get the McGrabby hands which we saw earlier you can see this nice black wash over the blue looking great here's the fisted hands now switching the hands in and out can be a little scary. I mean, I recommend using a hair dryer on the figure overall. There is a lot of paint on it. Even before you start posing the figure around, I recommend using a blow dryer on the figure and getting some heat all over the joints first. A lot of the new details in this figure are very subtle. Uh, for instance, the new head sculpt, we actually have some little lines right there around the nose. Uh, those are not on the original Gypsy Danger figure. Having the first Gypsy Danger compared to this new one over here, you can see all these added sculpted lines right there on the torso section that we didn't get over here. More lines right there on the shoulder. We didn't get that there. More on the arm. Didn't get that on the original one. And this blue paint is just too awesome. It has like this metallic sheen to it. You can see the sparklies going on, how it reflects light. Very, very cool. I like the choice of gold paint right there for the visor instead of that yellow color. With the wash, I think that looks so much better like this. This is really dope. These flaps right here are a lot cooler. Uh, they're a lot more even than they were on the other figure. I'm digging this gold paint right here on the back. The elbow looks great. Nice silver paint apps throughout. I mean, it's just a beautiful figure, and it still has that black wash over it, too, which is really cool, because I always like the black wash. I like how the arc reactor is painted over here. It's a little bit brighter than this one. You know, the original one was much darker. And then this little piece right here, as you can see, it has this little notch sculpted in it right there on his belly. Uh, that's a new sculpted piece. That little tiny thing was just painted on the last one. The first point that I noticed, though, with the original sculpt are these pistons right here on the legs. These are brand new. They look great. I really like that a lot. This is really cool. Nice silver paint and everything. Nice scuffs, scratches. Again, the knees look great with this silver dry brushing. Nice gold bits painted in different areas on here. Just looking really, really cool. Really, the paint sculpt on this brand new figure is just phenomenal. I really like it a lot. Very clean with these red and white stripes as well. I'm gonna do some comparisons with the original Gypsy Danger over here while we go over the articulation. First off, the head joint moves so much more than it does on this one right here. The original one, it was very difficult getting in there and trying to move his head around. This guy's got a peg sticking out through the neck right here. So it allows for a lot of side to side movement. You can actually pick at his chin and make him look upward, which is great. He can look down 
some as well. You get some neck pivot in there too, so a lot of head movement. His shoulders move outward, and he actually has some hinge articulation right there on the shoulder pad too. You can rotate forward like that, and it can move outward. He has a bicep swivel, which is new articulation, and he does bend at the elbow. We also get rotation at the forearm, plus a forearm pivot. Uh, one little thing is that these little guys, uh, they do pop off kind of easily. That's a little irritating, but you can just pop them right back in if you want to use some super glue. He does have a ball joint at the wrist that can move all the way around. He has a great diaphragm joint that moves side to side, and it does pivot, and it does crunch forward and back a little bit. It crunches back more than it does forward. He has legs that move outward. They do kick forward. He has a thigh swivel, which is brand new. He has double jointed knees, which is also new. You can see one hinge right here and another hinge right over there. Now this first hinge, it doesn't bend a whole lot, but it bends just enough to help this second hinge make it a complete bend inward for that. Damn, you could like get him hopping around in the air and stuff. That is just really, really cool. Now, unfortunately, the one point of articulation that, that is not better on this figure than the original one is the ankle pivot. Damn it. So it does rotate side to side. Uh, you can get the ankle to move forward and back, and it pivots just a tiny, tiny bit. You do get toe articulation again, which is really good, but as you can see, I bend this ankle inward. It goes in that much, and then on the original one over here, it goes in a little bit more. So you get more ankle pivot, and it does move forward and back more on the original one. Uh, he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet, though. Now, this Gypsy figure stands just under 8 inches tall. And here's our new Gypsy Danger compared to the two first Gypsy Dangers. This guy's an exact repaint of this one over here, the Battle Damage Gypsy, and I did not realize how much much taller this newer figure is compared to the original ones. And here's Gypsy compared to the battle damage knife head and leather back. And I think this guy is actually really made to fight Otashi, especially with the accessories, you know what I mean? Because that's who gets hit with the boat bat, is Otashi, plus the whole sword thing. And here he is compared to the NECA 2014 Godzilla and the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Again, I really like the figure a lot. I love the new paint apps. I really like the articulation. I'm bummed out about that ankle pivot. Oh, you can't forget the ankle pivot, but still, it's a very cool figure. You can still get him posed in a lot of new dynamics poses uh, compared to the first one, you know? This is just really badass. Uh, I am digging it, but anyway, hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the figure, subscribe, and check out toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images, and check out the Shortimus Wink channel for the daily vlog. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hit that subscribe button already if you haven't. Come on, man. Hit that subscribe or watch one of the videos below. Hi.